My name is Mike Nelson. My job, underwater research. In 15 years of diving, I've had my share of fun and danger. I've had all kinds of playmates, friendly, and unfriendly. But the most deadly thing that I've ever encountered in the deep wasn't a shark, it wasn't a stingray, and it wasn't the poisonous touch of the Portuguese man of war. It was something man-made that almost destroyed a harbor, a village, and a hundred fishing boats. Here is the town of Mazanel, on the coast of Baja, California. 3,000 souls, whose living depends on their fishing boats, their cannery, and the nitrate factory, which makes explosive powder from ore mined in the mountains. My advice, Diego, is to stick to fishing. You will never grow rich. Nah. But you will always have something to eat. But if I do not like to eat fish, Papa... What I mean is that... She's teasing you, Juan. She means after we're married. She will like the wages I make at the nitrate factory. And there are no storms in the factory. No fishing boat lost. My husband will be home each night. Yes, Diego? Yes, Marcia. Wait, wait, Diego. Whoa. You will tear my net. See if I can free it. Hey, I'll, I will swim down. Oh, wait. There is nothing at this depth on which the net would catch hold. It is caught. Not possible. Then I will free the net which is not caught on anything. This is very strange. Diego will fix it. He can fix anything. Yeah, you are very much in love, Nina. See, si, Papa. What is it, Diego? What did you see? Well, I've seen pictures of them, but never saw a real one before. You mean my net is caught on something? Yeah, it's, it's about so big, and it's round. It's got horns on all sides. The net's caught in two of the horns. A round fish with horns? Yeah. Juan, you better go tell the harbor captain. Uh, take the thing and take Marcia. I'll stay here with the net. Come, Marcia. What kind of a fish? It's not a fish. It's a mine. It's a naval mine that's broken loose from some place. The only thing that's holding it is the net. Marcia! Yeah. Marcia, we're floating on top of a barrel of dynamite. Come on! Diego stays. I stay. Marcia, we're not married yet. You're not yet the boss, and I don't have to do as you say. So if you behave like a mule, I can still treat you like one. So into the dinghy. No! In the dinghy. Diego, put me down. You're wonderful. I love you. You're beautiful. But sometimes you're like a mule. No! Diego, I hear you've seen a strange fish. Yeah, a 
fish I don't like in my net. Does it look like any of these? Yes, that one. And the net is caught on the horns? That's right. This is the captain of the harbor. Get me La Paz, please. Yes. Yes, La Paz? I have verified the story I just gave you. Yes, it is a naval mine. Uh-huh. Oh, about one mile outside the entrance of the harbor, I request instructions on how to proceed. Please. But, but, com Commander, I did not make myself quite clear. We cannot wait that long. Yes, sir, but, but, Commander, the tide will turn in two hours and... Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I'll keep you informed. Well, what do you say? He's sending a minesweeper. Good. It'll take ten hours to get here, top speed. If the mine should break away from the net and go into the harbor, it would make a big noise. That nitrate factory. We must find a way to hold the mine in place until the minesweeper gets here. Hey, I got an idea. You know Mike Nelson, the American with the air tanks? Yes. He's been teaching me how to use them. Yeah, he's a very nice fellow. We have talked much together. I'm sure he would be glad to help. I know just where to find him. Now, he was diving off Punta Lomas this morning as we went by. Then get him, Diego. Perhaps with his air tanks and he can tie a rope to the, to the mine and we can tow it out to sea. Yes. I hope he's still there. Hurry. Senor Nelson, La Paz thanks you for your offer to help. We have identified the mine from Diego's description. It's like this one. You sure? Like this? We have many pictures. Diego picked that one. Is there something wrong? This looks like Japanese Type 98, both contact and magnetic. Contact, I know. If you press on the horns, it blows up. But magnetic. It means that any moving metal coming too close to it could explode it. Isn't that tank of yours iron? That's right. How deep would you say that mine's flowing? I have 35 feet on that in the water. That means it's 35 feet deep. Is it hopeless? Well, that's one thing I know for sure. I'm not going to get any closer than 15 feet with this tank of mine. Diego, we're going to take advantage of those two lessons that I gave you with a diving line. But he cannot take the tank near the mine. We're not going to. Here, you better take this belt, huh? He's going to be my air station 15 feet below. I'd like to take a look at that mine. Comprende? Yes. All right. I'll meet you 15 feet below, huh? Diego remained above me with the diving lung. I was afraid to bring the metal any closer, so I took a deep breath from the lung and swam down to the mine without it. It was just about 35 feet down when I reached the bottom of the net. And there it was. Ugly, spiked, dangerous. But was it a magnetic type, which would make it harder to handle? Then I saw the peculiar flat housing between two of the horns. It was magnetic, all right. 
It had a mooring ring. If I could just get a rope on it. Swam up and took a breath from the lung. Then we surfaced. No problem. Throw me a rope. I'll tie it to the mine and we'll throw it out to sea. Diego, are you all right? I'm fine. It seemed so easy. All we had to do was swim down with a line. If we could hold our breath long enough, we could tie the rope to the mooring ring and tow the mine away. down again, the mine was gone. We looked everywhere. We couldn't find it. It had torn out of the net. Success? It's gone. It tore away from the net. The tide has turned. That means the mine has been carried into the harbor. This was the derelict mine. 1,000 pounds of dynamite which would explode by contact of one of its horns or by magnetic induction if it came within the critical distance of any substantial metal object. And this was the heart of the seacoast town of Mazanel. Its fishing boats, its cannery, its nitrate plant, and its people. Into the harbor, hidden from sight, came the drifting mine, carried by the tide. Even a shockwave from a nearby explosion could make that nitrate plant blow up. Where Mazanel once was, there'd be a hole in the earth. Boats are beginning to move out already. Yeah, we had to move out too. What happened to Juan, you know? Look, do you think we've got to wait for him? No one knows the harbor currents like he does. They're off. My wife, Marcia, and the little ones, the mayor has ordered the whole town to get out. I've never seen anything like Juan, it. Juan, we don't have any more time to waste. Here's a chart of the harbor. I can tell you exactly where that mine is this very moment. This is where we first saw the mine. This is where we are right now. The mine will float dust, dust, and dust. It will arrive here on the tide in one, one half hour. Now, let's get going, huh? Diego! What are you doing here? If you stay, I stay too. I go with you. No, Marcia, please, no. For the love of heaven, Diego, come! What do you matter, child? There is danger here. Diego, there is no time. Go, Marcia, go now. I'll be all right. Go to your mother! procedures before, except you hold on to the rope, huh? Okay. I'll meet you down below.
Juan had calculated where the mine should be, and Diego and I went down with a rope. Diego used the diving lung. He held one end of a 15-foot length of rope while I swam around with the other end. I didn't use a lung. I was still afraid to bring metal too close to the mine. Then I went back to Diego to get air from the diving lung. In this way, we checked a 15-foot radius. We didn't see the mine. We'd wanted to intercept it as far away from the wharf as possible. But in trying to do this, maybe we'd gone out too far. Had the mine already passed this point? I decided to go up and move closer to shore. Didn't see a thing. It's just like finding a drop of water in the sea. I'll find it, I'm sure. Uh, we better get it closer to the wharf. We probably passed it. I will head for the breakwater. and hit it right on the nose. But I still didn't know what magnetic effect the metal air tank would have on the mine even at this distance. So I took a lung full of air and sent Diego to the surface with the tank. Now the only question was, could I tie the rope to the mooring ring before my air gave out? The 
mooring ring snapped off. This mine seemed to have a jinx on it. It moved relentlessly toward the town. Now what? Can you find it again? I know I can. All right, then find it. And I want to be right over the top of it when we jump. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay, fast. What are you planning to do? Give me a hand with this net. Hand, come on. Beneath the surface, the mine came steadily toward the wharf. The speed of the tide was two miles an hour, about 170 feet a minute. The wharf, the nitrate plant, the town was only about five minutes away. Get ready to jump! Got it all straight now? Yes. Juan knew the currents better than anyone in Mazanel. Still, all he could do was make a good guess as to where the mine would be. And if we found it, we'd have to catch it in the net. Juan was right. There it was. It was coming straight at us, just a little to one side. We shifted and kept moving toward it. But we were high, so we swam down a little. The last trick was the hardest. We had to catch the mine without exploding it. At last, we had the mine trapped in the net again. But we still had to get it out to the open sea and rendezvous with the minesweeper. Throw me a line! Adios. <laughs> Marcia! Everything is safe! Tell everybody! Tell your mama! Everybody can come back! Senor Nelson. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you for my servant and the town of Massanel. It's all yours. Thank you. But first, let's tow this egg out to sea before we drop it again, huh? Juan, let's go. Si, Capitan. Several hours later, the crew of the minesweeper disarmed the mine and took charge of the round iron fish that almost destroyed the town of Mazanel. I'm Lloyd Bridges. Skin diving is fun and adventure for young and old, but it can be dangerous. So know the sport well and don't take any chances. Be with you next week for another exciting sea hunt.